Howdy, so for this one, I'm going to show you how to make loot using Monk's Enhanced Journal and Monk's Shops. Sorry, this one took a little bit longer to get out. I've been working a bunch of 48s at work, and then I also got sick, and then still a little sick, so my voice has been a little cracky, so if it kind of breaks up a whole bunch, I apologize. So for this one, these are the only modules I have access for this. I have the barrel tables, the compendium folders, which kind of cleans everything up in the compendium, the Monk's Enhanced Journal, the Shops, and the Revised Weapon Equipment, which I'll kind of go over a little bit more since I talked about it last video, but I didn't actually explain it very much. So uh, that's pretty much I have that for the module. So I have just a sample scene here where I have like an enemy that's got you know a couple pieces of item uh, stuff. He's got like a club, an amulet, a flask of holy water, investments. It's just simple things that you would actually think an acolyte would carry on their possession. So in the items, so like the revised weapons and equipment that I was talking about in the last one, he has it really broken down into different sections. So like the light armor has like certain different looks. The medium armor and heavy armor all have different little features to them. The items and weapons actually have a little bit of extra descriptions as well. So like a long sword will have some of like the features and stuff that certain weapons have like versatile and things like that to help you kind of remember, especially if you're like a newer DM, you don't remember what certain things do. It's in their description to kind of help you keep up with it a little bit better. So I really like that. Plus he's did a really good job with like, especially with certain equipment, he actually makes the things look like what they say. So like a crowbar actually looks like a crowbar, you know, a pair of manacles looks like a pair of manacles. So overall it's a really, really nice module and I love it. I use it all the time. So to make a piece of loot, you can do it two different ways. So you can either make it on the fly, so like immediately after combat and after your person's you know defeated someone, you can create it right there on the spot, or you can preemptively create it, which is what I typically do because it makes it just a little bit more streamlined. So that way when you're done, you can just add it immediately to the map and done and be ready to go. So to create a new piece of it from scratch, you create a journal entry and the go into the type using the monk's enhanced journal and you go to loot and then we can call it you know new loot so it will be just a blank canvas for you to be able to add what you want to add to it so you can add currency or you can add items or however what you do so like say if i wanted to have you know 50 silver pieces you know that's ready to go so to add items you can either add it straight from the compendium or from say the token itself so if the person I have my acolyte here has all those items on there I can add it from the actor itself or I could go to the compendium so we'll take something from the compendium just for uh, giggles so we'll do a flask of holy water it'll ask you how many you want to add and then you can go from there so if this is the only thing I want my players to be able to find I will show this out to them so I will show to my players and then I could choose, like how I did before with the shops, and I could pick and choose who I want to be able to see it. So let's say my other character here searched, and he's the one who I want to be able to locate it. I can have it only sent to him. So on his side, he's going to see that, you know, after he did a search, he found a flask of holy water, and he's got, you know, silver, sil 50 silver pieces that he could potentially take, which I'll show you kind of how the currency works here in just a second. So if, say, he wants to take that flask of holy water, very similar to shops, he asks for permission to take it, and then on my end, I have to approve it if I can say, yeah, you did find it. So this is really good, so if you... Um, the other way you can create a shop using rollable table if you used a loot table that you made yourself and there was something you didn't really want on there and you want to be like, oh crap, I didn't mean to be in there, you can say, no, you can't find it. Or if they did an investigation check and you weren't really paying attention, you're like, oh wait, no, you only got like a three? No, and you didn't find the holy water. It's like, I thought you rolled good. So you can approve it if they got it or not. So the other way is, say, opening up the items from that actual specific token, and then you can drag and drop items accordingly, you know, depending on whatever they rolled or however you do investigation checks for your game. So when I want to divvy this up, same thing, I can show it to my players, or I could actually create a loot icon on the map similar to how some of the other modules used to work, which unfortunately just are not working right now. I was testing them over the last couple of days and I just cannot get them to work. I don't know what it is. So once this is on the ground, I could pick and choose you know, they'll be able to click on it after I give them permission of who's, you know, who can view it. So if I want the other character to be able to look at it, because he's the one who actually searched for it, I'll make him the observer. And then on his side, he'll now be able to see a loot on the ground that he can pick up. And then he can pick and choose what he wants to take. Same thing, 50 silver pieces. So to distribute currency, um, same thing, you would just open it up and you would click distribute. Now what's really nice about this, if you have a certain amount of currency that does not break up evenly, this will actually kind of break it up for you, which I really do like that feature. So like, let's say he had 57 silver pieces instead, 
and I want to split it up between both party members, when I click split, it'll divvy it up completely in half, and then if there's a extra non-even one, it'll split that up to its lower level of currency after that. So it, it turned that 57th piece of silver into 10 copper pieces, and then that could divvy up to the player. So especially if you're playing a game where you're not really using a lot of like just handing out gold pieces like crazy and you want to use lower values of currency, this is a really good way to do that. So I really do like that. And then you can distribute it however you want to. Or say thing got 50 gold pieces and you only wanted that one player to get it, you could choose just that one player to assign it to and distribute to just that person. And on their end, they're just now rolling in silver pieces that they can just keep getting, which now they got, you know, the 28 plus the additional 50. So that bumped them up to 178. So that's pretty much it for that and so you can also make loot like i said using a rollable table and you can choose you know however advanced you want to go for your table and how many items you want it to draw so like if you just want one single potion to come out of it you roll it and then boom potion of healing now that was random but you know each time you know whatever you roll but if you're like wanting specific quantities you're like okay i want three numbers of items and then do that and then it'll you know add a bunch of extra different ones so that's pretty much it for setting up the loot i do like the control you have over it because it does let you you know if you didn't want your players to have something or you add something on accident you have a little bit more control it's like oh crap i didn't really want them to have that so i do like that aspect of it and i really like the currency aspect of it i don't like the little bit of extra steps it takes to actually get it onto the map for your players i really like to be able to just kind of right click and turn that person into loot but it is overall a very really good it's a very good module i, I really do like the flexibility of like monks modules as a whole and the loot being able to be shops where loot is very convenient and then I like, too, that it gives you the control of who can actually see the loot, where especially if, like, if one person's completely off on their own, I don't want the other players to be able to see that because they shouldn't be able to see it because they're not there. So I do like the aspect of the control of it. So that is a big plus on my end. So other than that, I mean, it's, it's a really, really good module. I really do like just the overall flow and layout of it. I think it's just it's very smooth. But uh, like I said, if you have any questions about anything, please feel free to ask, and I'll help you as best I can. And until then, I'll see you in the next one.